seat in there. Just had a shower. And it's freezing. It's freezing. I've got my still got my winter dressing gown on. Um this time last year I was wearing barely anything because it was so hot. If I just showed that clip during the shower, I'm showing you my morning routine this morning. The Cool Dali Foaming Cleanser. It's one of my favourites. It's lovely. Um, makes my skin feel really soft. Brilliant for sensitive skins. It's a lovely little foaming cleanser. I'll just give it a shake. Like that. Oh, it's just a nice little wake up. And along with that, I'm going to have to use my dressing gown now. <laughs> got no towel anyway along with that the nearly empty um cool dali exfoliator this is my favorite i know a lot of people are using these uh wipe on exfoliators that are just fluid i don't know it just doesn't feel right to me i still like to feel like i've scrubbed that dead skin off so yeah th i think this this stuff is brilliant been using it a long time also actually This is my new love also from uh, Cool Dali. It's um, a body oil, Divignes, Divignes, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it's a body and hair nourishing oil, but I'm using it as perfume. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells probably one of the cheapest perfumes I've ever used, I think. I can't remember how much this is, it's something like 25 pounds. But it is absolutely gorgeous on. I put it up on my neck. And uh, I think, well, it's oil as well. It doesn't look oily. But uh, it's just such a lovely smell. And I rub a bit on the arm. And I've had so many compliments about this. It really does smell lovely. So if you want to try it, um, I think uh, Cool Dali actually do samples as well so if you want to have a little sniff maybe rub the cool dali and skincare at the moment my all-time favorite eight hour cream just a little bit on the lips i've been using this actually on uh, my cuticles excuse me while i just do that i only use a tiny tiny amount but I never ever get dried or cracked lips with the 8 hour cream. It's a bit of a cult buy now isn't it, the 8 hour cream. I've been using it for about 30 years. And I do think it's helped keep the lip lines at bay a little bit. And I'm trialling the spa range at the moment. Um, what does that say? Pro Biome Serum and the moisturizer i'm using the uh, the serum moisturizer and eye cream at night um and i really like it i, I do really like it i wish i had an spf separate cream to put on during the day this doesn't have any spf in it and that worries me a little bit it's the first time actually i've ever sampled a cream during the day that hasn't got spf in it that comes with a little stopper. Um, but I've I've heard so many good things about this uh, series from a spa. I thought no, I'm I'm going to give it a go. I did actually speak to uh, someone about finding a good SPF cream. Apparently, Clarins is very good, so I might give that a try because so many brands send me creams nowadays that haven't got SPF in and for daytime I, I don't normally ever put them on because they haven't got that SPF and I feel that just using the creams at night is a little bit cheating so I think I'm going to invest in a good SPF cream alone if you can recommend one put it in the comments below please right is that yeah that's sunk in straight away 
this range is um, the cream is really gloopy you can see how thick it is but it does sink in I, I like how it feels um, it's definitely plumped my skin up that's for sure um, what else would I say about it it's quite strong smelling I've just got a thin layer of my eyes there quite strong smelling you can tell there's a lot of neroli in there um, and I really like neroli it always works well on my skin and I've been using this for just over a week now and I really like it I'm going to get myself dressed and out the door I've got a lot to do today so that's it that's me good to go simple 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 um i'm wearing this uh mustard top it's from bon marsh i don't think it's available anymore but they do do blouses in this material it's really nice and light easy to wear it's got a little neck detail here elasticated waist so i've just blouse on that up um Oh, there's a hair look, one of my long grey hairs. Right, get rid of that. Um, Belchin jeans, absolutely love these Wren skinny jeans. They're really, really, they're really good quality. Um, and I like, look how far can you see my fingers? That's how long the pockets are. So they stay nice and flat. And they're just, they're a nice jean. I like them. Bit of a pouchy barely there, Laurie. Need to get rid of that. I lost loads of weight last year and now I've put it all back on. <laughs> so I've got to get rid of that. Um, yeah, uh, wedge shoes. My bargains out of uh, Zara last year. £5 I paid for these. And that is it. Oh, and sunglasses. My uh, Bulgari sunglasses that I am so pleased with. don't know if you can zoom in on those actually. They've got like a mosaic side to them and I absolutely love them. Not a lover of dark glasses normally but I've not stopped wearing these. They're from Smart Buy. You can um, go on their website and actually see what the sunglasses look like but what I liked about it most is that they do an Asian fit which is perfect for us petite people so you can buy smaller glasses and you don't look like the fly so yeah pleased with them I only quickly went over the hair because like I say I'm going to a beautician's so I'm wondering if I need to be further away Maybe that would be better. Is that better? Yes, I think it is. Yeah, so anyway, that's the look. Um, got the trusty tote bag. I use this tote bag so much. I got this from um, Accessorise last year. It's been well worth its money. And uh, excuse the mess everywhere else. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go to the post office, how exciting. Right. It's horrible weather out. Oh, sorry if you're rocking a bit. Horrible weather. It's raining. I've been to the post office and picked my parcel up. Um, I've not unwrapped it. I, think I might do that with you when we get home. Um, I've been to the bank. And I was in there for absolutely ages. I got rained on and now I'm on my way to Aurora Spa in uh, Chiswick for, I don't know if, I, if I'm having a consultation today or if I'm gonna have a beauty treatment, but I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I look forward to sharing that with you actually. They sound like really lovely ladies. So yeah. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get parked there because Chiswick is a nightmare to drive to and park but I'd rather do that um, I'm running a little bit late because the bank just took forever 
so it's a busy day it's a busy day today oh, so i'll speak when we're there morning all um been up and out early this morning uh, we went to um kempton market it's uh, actually quite a nice morning so i didn't want to wake you up too early <laughs> i didn't put a lot of face on either i've just got um some foundation on and some lipstick and i just wore sunglasses and outfit is this regatta coat that's really actually come in handy not the most uh up there of fashion you know coats but this is brilliant for walking the dogs or going out early early morning walks it's like warm but not too warm it's just perfect really i i've been really impressed with it it's by regatta it's got flat pockets that pockets and then you've got pockets you can put your hand in like i say uh, you might have seen it on the blog post it's got a hood so that's handy i thought i'd wear that because our weather's really unpredictable at the moment and then i just wore jeans these are the sadie slim jeans from uh, bon marsh actually not bon marsh sadie slim jeans from jd williams uh, I've had these for quite a while now. They're very, very comfortable. They're actually quite, quite loose on. So I'll just try and undo this belt and just show you the whole look. Um, what else? Uh, took my tote bag with me. Got my Zara sandals on again. Both from last year then. So yeah, it just does up the Velcro. It's got a zip. It's got poppers. It's it's got everything really this coat and I was really pleased with it so if you're looking for a lightweight easy to wear coat there's your thing so just a plain tan belt from Zara and that's it very very simple and that was my morning so I'm just going to go and grab something oh, what have I got on me there gonna go and grab something to eat now and um, crack on with my day I've got quite a lot to do they, they've got little distress bits on them these jeans they're quite loose fitting I think Sadie Slim these are I think these were a 10 I don't think they came in an 8 and they're plenty baggy they come up quite big I normally wear them with a turn up on but yeah they're a nice comfortable pair of uh, jeans, no jewellery or nothing else it was just get up, go and get out the door so I'm going to open that parcel that I went and collected yesterday, I'll share that with you so I, I still haven't unwrapped it, I've waited so I'll speak in a minute right, so I've had my breakfast and uh, 
both laying next to me here. Actually, I'll give you a quick look at the puppy. Guarding the bag, look. Sniffing the carpet. She's got a bit of a bad paw at the moment, so uh, she's constantly licking it. She's got a bit of a split claw. Yeah, she's got a bit of a split claw, so if you hear the licking, that's what it is. Are you gazing at yourself in the mirror? Anyway, um, as promised, I thought we'd open this together. I picked this up yesterday and I've been dying to open it. So I've had it now in my possession for about 24 hours. And, I thought, no. and there's the door. Two seconds. Oh, I stood the door and it was leaflets. Bloody leaflets. Right, anyway, let's crack back on. Yes, I'm quite so, I'm not sure what this is. I've got a few things that I know of in the pipeline that are going to come. So it could be creams, it could be a bag. And it's creams. Oh, it's the prey. Is it prey? Pry? Um... This is all the creams. I think these are, I don't know if these are coming from, because uh, I know it's sold in Marks and Spencers and they contacted me. Throat and Decolletage Serum. I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I'm really excited to try it. Um, I've known a few bloggers to use this and it's given really good results. And my neck is the worst. So that's, uh, Throat and decolletage, decolletage serum. Firms, tightens and sculpts. And then what else have we got? Ageless lip line filler. I'm very interesting. I didn't even know they did that. Look forward to using that. God, there's loads. And um, what's this one? Eye tight uplift serum. Smooths and lifts. Are you making enough noise? If any of you have used this uh, Pry, Pry um, skin series, let me know. Because I'm very interested. I'm really looking forward to trying this stuff. Ageless eye decrease, firms, smooths and brightens. Let's have a look. me is with um, being a blogger and trying all these creams and you know when you've got um, four or five in the pipeline I, I like to use the creams for a month so you know they, they get the ump a little bit with waiting but if you, you need to review a cream a month at a time the, the time span um, it makes it difficult and at the moment I'm trying out this spa, which I'm really liking by the way. Um, I'll leave a link down below. I've written some in my post about the, the spa creams. But look at the packaging, that's very nice. It really is quite posh. Let's have a look at the texture. Which one was this? Eye cream, so it's going to be something light. <gasps> No perfume, love it already. I always have a problem with the perfumes. They just sometimes they're just so overpowering. There's no perfume at all. I'm excited to try. Can't wait. Excellent. And then this is obviously the face cream. Ageless throat and decolletage cream, firms, lifts and tones. And it's got the badge of good housekeeping on there. That's a good sign. I haven't read Good Housekeeping magazine for ages. I must do that. Oh look, it's all so pretty. Really nice packaging. 
and it's sealed as well there's a seal on there and I always think that's lovely when everything's sealed and you can tell if it's ever been opened or not I think that's good it's got like a little flower on the top they've all got flowers on very pretty yay I'm excited about that So that was what was in the parcel. There's one other thing. There's one other thing that I wanted to share with you that really meant a lot to me that came in the post. I'm going to read it to you. This is from um, my friends at Marie Curie. And they sent me a lovely little card with the daffodil on, which is their emblem, as you know. Uh, Laurie, we would just like to say a massive thank you for being an amazing digital ambassador. We really appreciate your efforts in helping us to support more patients and their families through terminal illness. We hope you like the goodies. Love from the Marie Curie team. How lovely is that? You know, when, when you're appreciated, it just makes so much difference. But I will always support these people blogging or not because they made a big difference to mum and that meant everything a bit emotional so yeah they've sent me um, some Olay anti-wrinkle see more cream and 7 in 1 that's got to be one of their most famous hasn't it um, Strawberry and Vanilla Cream Exfoliating Mask. Look forward to using that. And the little daffodil badge. Look, oh, so cute. I've got, got to find something to pin that on. Um, and some Care Care Leaving Conditioner. So. I can have a little bit of a, is that coconutty? I can smell something. Yes, yeah, very coconutty. Look, that's sealed and I can still smell it already. I look forward to having a lovely little pamper session on behalf of Marie Curie there. I think that's just so lovely. I'll keep that card. And talking of uh, that, cushions. This has actually been developed by, um, the fabulous interior designers 1985 I don't know if you've heard of them it's a really good quality cushion and that they've done this in collaboration with Marie Curie and I think it's absolutely stunning it's a uh, green velvet on the back and I love it I've got to do a picture actually with this for a blog post I'm very pleased with it it's just such a bright, lovely, summery cushion. I'll leave the link below, actually, for this. And there's a t-shirt as well with uh, the, the daffodil emblem on. Um, I've done one picture in it already. And I'll add that into this post. Yeah. So, that's lunchtime. Don't know what I'm doing the rest of the day. I think it's... I might do a video. I'm waiting to do a video on... Um, makeup I might do a makeup video this afternoon but I have a shed load of housework so I'm gonna go and crack on with that good afternoon it's afternoon I've been really busy this morning out shopping and running around doing errands it's a beautiful day out there today look I have flip-flops on flip-flops I did want to share with you uh, what I picked up at the market yesterday, actually. A little, little straw bag. Two seconds. Bo, are you going to come and sit down? Sit. Sit. I'm not playing ball. And that's not your ball either. 
can you see that she's caught her eye on that pom-pom on the bag yeah anyway so this is what I got from uh, the market yesterday it's a Dorothy Perkins bag it's actually still got the label on it yeah 29 pounds and I got it for six pounds so really pleased about that nice little bargain I don't know if I'm going to keep that pom-pom on there actually but I just thought you can't have enough of these straw bags I really like them they're per this is perfect size for me as well it's just a nice little yeah so today we had a little trip out to uh, TK Maxx I was buying uh, the other half are you going to come out of my bag? Why have you got your head in my bag? Is your ball down there? Shall we show everyone what you're like with these balls? It's not there, look. It's not there, it's not there. It's not in that bag. You've lost it again. And this is what I have to do. Sit down. There it is, look. Sit. Pull. Thank you. Let's resume, shall we? So she's happy now. She's got her bowl. Yeah, so today I went out and we was looking for summer wear for the other half, so we've done that today. I'd send some parcels back. I've done that today. See the mother-in-law today. So I've fitted quite a lot in today. I was filming uh, makeup. Look fabulous forever. <laughs> this is my little setup for makeup. That's how I did it today. So uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to that. Actually, it's all about um, the little dilemmas that we've got with skin and just how to uh, cover up bits and pieces it's like I've got a really bad vein broken vein on my nose and I'm always looking for new ideas how to cover that up I've had it lasered twice and it's not worked and it sticks out like a sore thumb I hate it and I need good coverage on it so I'll come in closer actually this is all the makeup that I've had on today because I've been doing that video so I've just got foundation on a little bit of eyeliner and that is it I left the rest off all day so yeah so yeah that's my day um, I've been in flip flops all day like I said I'm wearing this um, pleated skirt it's actually from F&F &F, but you can buy it at Next Online the Reese top I've worn this top so much it's been absolutely amazing I like the neck on it it's just got a nice little neck it's like a little cow neck I just think it makes a nice, nice change um, excellent quality from Reese it's just plain simple uh, I thought I know I'm gonna wear it a lot and I have worn it a lot I like the sleeves how they just drape you know even just that little bit of arm coverage it's it's been a beautiful top and cream you can't go wrong it goes with everything so but that looks good doesn't it the towel poking out at the bottom so see you tomorrow hello happy saturday um the weather is absolutely gorgeous out it's boiling hot I've just actually been out and shot this outfit. Really like it actually. I've got my Reese Pax trousers on. I absolutely love these. They're such good quality trousers. Um, nice colour, like a moss. I think they're actually called moss, but they, they really hug you in nice. Really lovely tailored pair of trousers. I was debating on what, look, bows there. Hello, Bo. Yeah, um, I was debating on what sandals to put on. I didn't see the white ones, I think. There you go, in front of the wardrobe. But I ended up going for these tan ones. Um, 
and the blouse I think this blouse is really cute let me come in a little bit closer um, um, too many ums yeah really pretty blouse from uh, um, <laughs> yes a uh, really pretty blouse from H&M this one I like the little neck detail uh, frilly sleeves really pretty but you can just rush them up This is from Tria. It's called Tria. It's a bra on top and it's like a vest top at the back. I wear it so much, it's amazing. So, for something super sheer like this, because it is more or less see through, um, um, <laughs> it works perfectly. So, I was going to tuck it in, but I think it works really well out. It's just nice and floaty. So, I might actually be able to put a clip of that in this post actually of me filming that's what I did I've just been out shooting photos wearing this but it was for Hersey silversmiths they kind of gifted me this silver locket some really pretty earrings don't know if you can focus on them and a bangle oh, it's really pretty this I always make so much mess when I'm getting ready. So that's my day. Um, I'm going to go and water the garden in a minute again because I didn't do it this morning. I actually had a lay in and I'm going to write a blog post. So I'll speak in a bit.